on guys uh, i have some amazing question from engineering design to draw like um, they are asking auxiliary view. let's uh, let's go and see how to draw the auxiliary views so the first question is asking this is the only question i'm going to do uh, for the two given views shown below draw the partial auxiliary view of the inclined surface a use the fault line method and label all vertices of the inclined plane so all your work okay so they have given these two values i mean two pictures right here so this part is a and they are asking us to draw the auxiliary view so i'm going to copy the same picture right here so this is my top uh, top plane So there's a line that's separating this now and this is A, this is A and a phantom line dividing both the front, front, front plane and the top plane and this is gonna be like this, phantom line is one big line and two dotted line, one big line, two dotted line and the bottom is gonna be the, my front view this is going to be my front view. I'm going to draw this like this, like this, like this, like this, and this is going to be uh, the dividends right here. Uh, dividends right here, like this. It's some hidden line right there. I'm not sure what is it. Let's see. And one more line right here. So this is my front view and this is my top view and this is H H mean top F so the A part the A part is the inclined part right here if you see imagine like this is uh, we are looking from Z axis and this is we are looking from X axis so if you from uh, like if we if we look at this uh, whatever the material it is uh, it this object if you look it from top part this is gonna appear like this and if you look this same mat uh, same uh, what do you say same material same material from the front part it's gonna be look like this so the inclined part is the A part uh, this part so what I had to do is in order to draw the auxiliary view I had to like uh, I had to extend this inclined line so it's gonna be like this and like this and extend this inclined line uh, make sure it's 90 degree make sure it's 90 degree So this is 90 degree and uh, so we can say this is the H view, H view is this part. So from H view we have to draw 90 degree. This is our H view and H view we have to draw 90 degree and we have to draw a uh, another phantom line that is perpendicular to this one so it's going to be like this so now what we have to do is uh, we have me measure the distance from this phantom line to that A so let's say this is a uh, distance between them is like 1 centimeter if this is 1 centimeter this is going to be like 3 centimeter if this is 3 centimeter uh, this is going to be the same right here it's going to be one centimeter and this is going to be three centimeter 
let's say whatever the middle part this is uh, 1.25 centimeter and this is 1.1 centimeter 1.5 uh, centimeter and 1.6 centimeter so like this so we just measure like this and uh, so I had to transfer the same distance to this one so if I if I extend this line here so this first line is going to be uh, this line so I have to draw one centimeter dot right here and one centimeter right here and uh, from this uh, from this one like from this to this and then one centimeter one centimeter now three centimeter here three centimeter and three centimeter right here three centimeter and 1.25 centimeter right here and then then I had to draw a middle part to connect the middle line then here it's uh, the middle part is only 1.25 centimeter here 1.5 centimeter and this is uh, this is 1.5 so that's also 1.5 1.5 connect to each other and 3 centimeter right here and connect to this one and we are all set so this is my picture of the auxiliary view of the A don't forget guys we have to label this one so in this case I have to label it's a F1 like F is gonna be whatever the no F not F1 it's, a, it's actually 1 2 because after the H view uh, it's gonna be one uh, first uh, first plane first auxiliary view so it's gonna be 1 and this is 2 so this is going to be H view and that's we switch one and uh, we, we, we have to name this thing it's going to be 1 2 let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this number I have to draw this for front view uh, I had to number this for front view uh, front view top view and auxiliary and for the H view for the H view I'm going to number the same thing it's going to be uh, if you look at this part the top part is going to be the one one and like I started from here so one one two so one and two gonna be here one and two and three and seven is going to be here and four four and five is going to be in the middle four and five in the middle so that's how it's look like and I can switch this now so if I switch this one, it's this is going to be one. This is going to be two. This is going to be three. This is going to be four. This is going to be five. This is going to be six. This is going to be seven. This is going to be eight. And this is uh, eight. This is eight. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. This five. This four, six, seven, eight. So this is the this is how I name this picture. And we are all done. So this is how we draw the auxiliary view. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.